I do hope that by existing, there's some young stud black girl somewhere that can turn on a TV and go, oh, look, there, that's an option for me. Well, I come from a pretty big and close knit family. So I would have to say my family is the biggest influence on me of what family is and, and what family means and how family should treat one another. My grandmother had 11 kids. All of them had like three kids apiece. So um, my family is like the hugest influence on me. And after my mom passed and I kind of drifted away from my family, I had to kind of find that connection with people through, you know, going to Atlanta for school or coming out. And so now my definition of family is truly more based on the individual connection than it is necessarily a bloodline. How about you, babe? How do you define family? Um, I define family by the people that are in my circle that um, my energy resonates with. So they don't have to be blood because you, you know, only, only I have a small family. So I have ex my, she, her family is my extended family, but I formulated relationships with people that I consider family because I don't have like a close connection or uh, with aunts and uncles and grandmas and stuff like that. We met through some mutual friends. We had all went out and uh, we met at a club kind of briefly and I, I was digging her. And then one of my friend's cars broke down in front of her house that night when we were all leaving the club. and. Um, she came out, offered us some water, and uh, we went in her apartment, and I was like, yeah, I really like this girl. And then we would just hang out a bunch, and uh, that's kind of how it started. And then it was like off and on for years, you know, dating, then breaking up, then talking, and not necessarily fully dating while we're dating we were other people. We were always friends in the process. Uh, yeah, we were friends. We were okay, always friends. Yeah. <laughs> we were always friends. Um, and I just think over time of just being connected to one another and not being able to like, break that connection a person just becomes like family to you so even when we weren't necessarily dating i always felt like she was a person who was going to always be in my life we laugh yeah. a lot we tease each other a lot um sometimes too much <laughs> uh <laughs> and someone gets upset it's like we'll be teasing 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 and it sounds like hey i was a little too <laughs> too close to home but um we have a lot of fun, we laugh a lot. She, she definitely is super funny to me. And uh, we both have a good sense of humor about ourselves, I think. And so we're able to joke with one another. Yeah, and I don't mind it. Like if she puts it in material, because normally, I mean, I, people think I'm always blindsided by the stuff that she's like, can't believe she said that. I'm like, I was there when she made the joke. So I, I'm never blindsided. And I feel like even if there were things that I did mind in her comedy that I was like that's not necessarily so comfortable with. I wouldn't say anything just because I don't want to kill her creative craft. You know what I'm saying? She's taught me to be considerate of people. She's such a considerate person and a very loving person and a very understanding person. And so I think just watching her and how she is with people, it kind of like softened my heart towards people a little bit.